Hello, everybody. With the Berlin series, Orchestral Tools has delivered a workhorse toolkit for professional virtual orchestral music production. The Metropolis Arc series expanded on that by adding more specialized orchestral sounds and instrumentations tailored to modern trailer and cinematic music styles. To augment the available palette of sounds with another dimension, Orchestral Tools introduces Time Macro, captured at the Teldex scoring stage with the same setup used for the Berlin series and Metropolis Arc series. Time Macro is the essence of many concepts and ideas about music in a temporal context. It led us to this extensive collection of inspiring orchestral and choral textures, advanced articulations, and dynamic gestures related to the paradigm of time. All recordings are unprocessed, captured with a multi-microphone setup and a perfectly balanced scoring stage. This is the sound of Time Macro, directly out of the box by playing with some of the multi-patches. We recorded 10 individual sections. Their patches can be found in the Individual Sections folder, and we'll get to these later. The whole idea of time is to provide inspiring and never-before-recorded colors that want to be combined and layered. So let's start by exploring some more of those pre-built combination patches we can find in the Orchestra folder. Those combined patches give you an idea how the color palette of time can be used. In the Altered Time folder, we have even more of those combinations, but now with another augmentation. As humans, we experience time to be something that runs forward at constant speed, but we can also imagine it to run slower or even backwards. In the audio world, that means slower playback and reversing of the signal. All the recordings were done at a very high sample rate to ensure the highest audio quality even when reducing the playback speed. For example, we play back an articulation at half speed, which means it will sound one octave lower. We then moved those samples one octave up so that when you press a key, the correct pitch will sound when in fact we hear it at half speed.
reversing orchestral sounds can also be very effective. Let's listen to some examples of that. The next three folders of time contain the whole string and woodwind orchestra, as well as the choir, assembled from the individual sections. So, for example, the high, mid, and low strings are combined into one patch here. For all the individual textures and articulations, I'd like to walk you through the individual sections folder. Basically, we have three types of articulations. There are looped sustained textures, recorded far longer than standard sustained samples to allow the sound to intrinsically evolve, even though you also have dynamic control over them. As you have heard, they have a sense of subtle forward movement within them, which brings life into the sound and gives the music its direction. They're also designed to resemble certain aspects of our time paradigm. For example, this very slow tremolo directly implies a slow motion movement of some kind. The second type of sounds is called pendulum swells. Imagine a pendulum of a clock. When it moves, it has a very specific curve of velocity, accelerating from the top, reaching its maximum on the lowest position, 
and then slowing down when moving upwards again. This movement is transformed into a dynamic swell with those pendulum patches. Sometimes we even use the placement of instruments or two different articulations to create echo pendulum movements. Finally, we have rhythmic patterns, which are reminiscent of clockworks played on one pitch or with atonal sounds. Some of them use the dynamic controller to add more layers of rhythm and instruments. For example, in the high strings, some violins start just with 16th note repetitions. If you move the mod wheel up, other violins come in one octave above with 8th note triplets. If you move it up even more, individual desks come in with a random pattern of accents. Please note that those dynamic layers are recorded together. The players who are doing the 16th pattern continue to play when the next group came in. So within one section, those repeating rhythms are performed together, which lets them interact and live together as opposed to mechanical sounding beats. Those clockwork patterns will come to life even more if you layer a bunch of them together. Their tempos sync to your host, but will most likely sound best around their recorded speed, which is, you guessed right, 60 beats per minute, or to be exact, 120 beats per minute in quarter notes. On some sections, and even with the choirs, we also did atonal variations of this concept. Now, to show you how many possibilities Time Macro has to offer, we'll take a look at all the 10 individual sections and their articulations. For the high strings, we recorded 10 violins on the left and 10 violins on the right side of the Teldex stage. The most basic articulations are the Seltasto and Sol Ponticello sustains, but even they have a subtle movement and evolving motion within them.
You just heard the cholegno sustains. The dynamic layers here blend between a pure cholegno bowing, where the players use just the wood of the bow, and a cholegno trato bowing, where the wood is used in combination with the hair of the bow. With the high saltasto, we recorded the top range of the instrument with a very soft and flautando bowing style for a feathery, fragile sound. We also did that with sustained harmonics, as you just heard. Now, let's move on to even more textural sounds. We have all kinds of sustains with random gestures by individual instruments. In Metropolis Arc II, we introduced those irregular fourth and fifth arpeggio textures where each of the violins performed at a random tempo. Those were very appreciated by our users, so we recorded a new version of them with Time Macro where they play so slow, the listener can really feel the deceleration. We also captured a pure noise sound of the strings, which the players produced by bowing directly on the bridge. The mid-strings consist of eight violas and eight celli. The articulations are very similar to those of the high strings, so let's take a quick listen to them.
For the low strings, we recorded eight celli together with six basses. Time offers three different woodwind sections as well. The high woodwinds are four flutes and four clarinets separated in groups of two and placed left and right on the stage. For their lower range, some of them use their alto flutes or basset horns. We get a soft sustained patch as well as airy sustains and a soft flutter tongue sustained tone. Also, just like with the string sections, we get some sustained textures with random gestures.
You heard those sustained notes with little sparse drops from the fifth above before on the strings. We recorded that for almost all the sections. Here, we also have the woodwinds playing fifth intervals up and down with a random tempo for each instrument. For the pendulum dynamics, we have two different kinds of echo swells. One alternates between flutes and clarinets, and the other one between the left and right group of both. The low woodwinds consist of four clarinets and four bass clarinets playing in octaves. They sit in one row behind the other woodwind sections. The double reed section is created with four oboes and four bassoons placed in a half circle around the deca tree. It has a large range, starting with the bassoons on the bottom and slowly blending in with English horns and into the oboes the higher you play.
Just like with the low woodwind section, we also have a very effective short crescendo patch here with the double reeds. In this case, two contrabassoons play together with two bassoons in octaves. The brass section of time uses four trumpets and four trombones. They're arranged in a single wide row way behind all the other sections, so they add another layer of depth if brought together with the strings and woodwinds of time. Before we get to the choirs, I'd like to show you a very special and unique section of time. We recorded two harps and two vibraphones sitting in a mirrored fashion around the deca tree. They bring very delicate sparkling colors and detail to the table. We have two kinds of single notes. First, regular harp plucks with a very pure vibraphone sound, and secondly, harmonics on the harps together with soft vibraphone hits with activated motor. We also recorded some of the textural and rhythmic techniques we used for the other sections. Thank you. 
Now, let's move on to the last two sections. They are no less special and unique than the harps and vibes, and in fact, all the instrumental sections of time. We have a woman and men choir with 12 singers each. Both are standing in a single row half circle around the decatry. We recorded a couple of, again, long, evolving, sustained sounds, as well as some of the textural articulations you heard from the instrumental sections. We recorded exactly the same articulations with the men choir. On two of them, you can even hear one of the bass singers adding a profundo note an octave below the others.
As mentioned early in the video, Time uses the same recording setup as Orchestral Tool's previous collections recorded at Teldex. That means we get access to a variety of microphone positions. Let's listen to some examples to get an idea about the scope of sounds possible with them. With this collection, a very special concept came to life. Beginning with the paradigm of time, its implications and source of inspiration, moving on to the selection of instruments, designing and placing them creatively on the scoring stage, through to inspiring articulations and textures delivered individually and combined, Time Macro is the perfect tool for underscoring, sound design, and all those moments where you need those special sounds standard orchestral samples are not designed to do. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Have a good time.